how long have I been working at the bike church? Um, I got to think about when it started. I was new in town, and um, I just needed a bike helmet. I didn't know anything about bikes at the time, and uh, she kind of showed me how to do do some work. Eventually, I began volunteering and learning more and more, and then I was helping out. Yeah. Next thing I know, they they said, "Here, here's some keys. You got to come in once a week." I think the big thing is I learned how to maintain my own bike. We offer. Um, the chance to actually come in and interact and use the space. The bike church started with different organizations in the community coming together, like we had People Power, which was the advocacy group. Bike to Work was doing advocacy through putting on public events to entice people to come out on their bikes. The Santa Cruz Cycling Club was involved with the hub at that point. So the hub is like the nonprofit that carries the lease on the property. They gave us free rent for probably our first six months, uh, which was like a 100 square foot closet and, and a single stand. and not a lot of space. It was at that point a friend and I uh, buying tools and trying to raise money. It's like five dollars an hour suggested donation. So bike shops these days are pretty expensive if you're actually paying someone to work on your bike for you or if you're buying new components. Different markups between two and five hundred percent. The markup here is a kind of standard like sixty percent on all, all parts. I don't want to categorize my bicycle, and I don't want to, like, brag about my bicycle either. My bike got stolen, so my neighbor hooked this bike up for, like, ten bucks. This is my bike here, my recumbent bicycle. Cool. And what are you, uh, what are you doing to it today? I'm getting too many bikes. Now I've got a, a single-speed 29er. I remember this one time uh, when I was volunteering here. There was about five volunteers and mechanics standing around one bicycle uh, trying to figure out what the hell was wrong with it, and nobody knew. Nobody could figure it out. I think eventually someone came up with a solution. Somebody has always been able to say, well, let's try this. Right. Let's try that. Uh, I, that's, that's the coolest thing is that everyone figures it out together, teamwork. I think the fact that the bike church is a collective is a lot of what attracts me to the situation. All the volunteers have a voice and a say in the direction the church goes. That's really We're into helping you do what you want to do rather than trying to sell you something you don't need. I thought it was only for people who already knew what they were doing, but people have been really nice to me. It's certainly not outside of capitalism, but it's like the focus of the place and the efforts are going into something other than capitalism. It's just a totally different model. The local bike shops actually do a good job of supporting us and bringing us parts, so. But we're also using a lot less. What we're looking for at the bike church is, um, any useful part, basically. Um, but. Right now, I'm taking this part so that people can use the parts for their bikes. We get a lot of donations and we part them out and then people can have really cheap parts. There's the scrap metal. We, we haul, um, I estimated recently, two tons of rubber a year to the rubber recycling, keeping it out of the fill. My name is Greg Garneau. Yes, I'm one of these, uh, my bike is my car people. Right, I'm a volunteer bicycle mechanic, core volunteer at the Durham Bicycle Cooperative in Durham, North Carolina. So we're only two years old. Uh, we're still in that developmental phase and learning as we go. Uh, read about the uh, uh, bike church online and knew that I had to get over here and then when I saw how beautifully organized it was, I knew that they had a lot of great organizational ideas that we could use been here on hundreds of occasions. We've been involved about six, six years with these guys. We do all sorts of things together. There's an annual tour that's really great. We take a week, close the shop, and anywhere from 10 to 25 of us get together and, and carry a lot of food down to Big Sur and over, over the hills and the dirt. And um, That's one of, one of our favorite gatherings, I think. Gets the people together to, to share resources and, and work out differences and make everything ideally run as smoothly as possible. If somebody were interested in coming to the bike church and working on their own bicycle, I would say they come with a lot of patience and open-mindedness because they're going to meet a lot of new people and be introduced to a lot of new ideas and it's important to keep your cool because it can be very frustrating to work on your bicycle. Because nothing ever goes as well or as smoothly as you hoped, but when it does, you'll be very happy. <laughs> Later.